We're looking for our next adventure in Frederick Sound. We leave our anchorage in Portage Bay early and head out into the open waters of the Sound. We're headed west to Baranoff Island. The Sound is known for prime whale watching. And in no time, we have plenty to occupy our cameras. Humpback whales are 40 to 50 feet long and weigh up to 80,000 pounds. Both the male and female vocalize, but only the males produce the complex song that lasts 10 to 20 minutes and then repeats. Humpbacks migrate 16,000 miles each year. They feed only in the summer, in colder regions. The tail and pectoral fins have unique markings that can identify individuals. Now that they're not at risk to whalers, their natural lifespan is 45 to 100 years. When whales surface, they exhale through their blowhole, sending water 10 feet into the air. These little birds take advantage of all the food the whales stir up. As we approach Baranoff Island, we spot a family of sea otters. They seem as curious of us as we are of them. The fish are jumping at the Hidden Falls Hatchery, but we're here for the bears. These are Sitka brown bears, a subspecies that only is on Baranoff and two other nearby islands. And they're here for the fish. Mom bear gives us the sniff test. She has two yearling cubs. It must be that awkward age for bears. The show is over and the bears head back into the forest. We have just a short trip south to our own destination for tonight, Baranoff Warm Springs. It's a quirky little seasonal settlement of 15 homes connected by a boardwalk. The attraction is a natural hot springs about a quarter mile above the houses, but we've had enough for today. Chef Greg reports that the hot springs were wonderful last night as he serves up a tasty quiche for breakfast. It's a gray day, not only the weather, but it's our last day on the Misty Fjord. We need to get back to Petersburg tonight. We overdosed on whale tails yesterday, so it takes something really special to lure us out into the rain. Maybe like a breaching whale? Hard to capture in this light, but we tried. It happened so fast, let's see it again. We're back in Petersburg, but it seems they rolled up the streets. Petersburg goes by Little Norway due to the number of immigrants who recognized a resemblance to their homelands in both scenery and fishing. Greg has outdone himself tonight for our farewell dinner, prime rib and all the trimmings. We dig into the feast 
and toast the chef. After breakfast, we say goodbye to Dale, R.K., Greg, and Coop, our new friends on the Misty Fjord. We're at Petersburg Airport for our flight to Anchorage via Juneau. Mount McKinley looms large as we approach Anchorage Airport. Hope this weather holds for us. Thank you.